look, here's how it's going to go down. All right. This right now is the intro to this video. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> this is a new segment for Geek Tank, one that I've been working on sort of half assedly in the background because I've had so many other things going on, but I've wanted to get around to because it's something that's always interested me that I've wanted to do, and, and Geek Tank kind of allows that. So I'm taking advantage of the fact that we now have a podcast to do something meaningful with it. So this segment is, as you can see, something I'm fumbling through right now, partially yeah. because I'm tired and it's been a very f- long, <laughs> a very long day. Yeah. And it was supposed to be done yesterday, and I was in the zone, too. I was ready to do this. But now, you know, it's Sunday night, and we've got to get this recorded, and yeah. I've got to get it edited and uploaded. So uh, I'm calling this segment sort of like Cinema Sideshow. Uh, for lack of a better name, I'm calling this who are you? And this is sort of a trial run. So we have Kay here. Hey, know. guys. Yeah, I'm the first guest. Everyone else can eat it. Yeah, you already know him, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank <laughs> we're, you, we're thank you for having me as your first guest. <laughs> oh, on I'm, this, I'm, I'm on so this glad half, to have you. half acid <laughs> intro <laughs> that you did. <laughs> well, <laughs> by the way... It's making me feel better. I'm laughing now. <laughs> I want to tell you guys, I'm going to be like the devil's advocate in this. I'm just going to be <laughs> good luck. Good luck, because that's exactly oh, how yeah. I intend to be. <laughs> so, uh, even though even though we already know who you are, let's start this off as as if you were a brand new guest to this. Okay. Who are you, Kay? I am Kazrich Israr. I am uh, 33 years old. <laughs> okay. I am a human being. <laughs> <laughs> of the homo superior race. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Go <Going>. ahead. <laughs> who am I? I'm not who, like Jack exactly. Chan. Who are you? <laughs> no, I mean, like, obviously, it's going to be who are you is going to be different for everyone, right? Oh, that's exactly the point. Yeah, that's the whole point of this show, right? Well, the whole point of this <laughs> show is to get to know people All right. on, a, on a more intimate level and, uh, Kind of learn what they're all about. My whole idea for this is to bring people together by helping them understand others. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, for me, I think like, like I said, I want to play devil's advocate. You never really know who you are because moment from, from moment to moment, you're cha- or you're always changing. I agree, but that's also part of who you are. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm just saying. So it's like okay. At the beginning of this half acidly intro show, I was someone, and now I'm someone who's just like a fucking trickster, I guess. I don't you're know. All, you're always changing. <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah. Or maybe you're just becoming more of who and what you are. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Uh, tell us, what kind of person do you see yourself as? I don't know. I that's well. I mean, clearly you see yourself as a, a devil's advocate. A devil's advocate. Tri- well, the thing is, like always, you know, always do it with integrity, though. Okay, <laughs> so you can be a jackass with integrity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I like doing that too. <laughs> it depends. I gotta be in the mood. Some days I'm like that. Yeah. Uh, Some days I'm an man. asshole I'm with the integrity. The type of person that I am and am always trying to be is someone that just. Trying to do right by others. That's okay. that's that's how I see my purpose. In a sense, I just want to do right by my fellow man and fellow world reality. I say that's noble. Me yeah. personally, uh, I'm sure most people would mm-hmm. agree with that. Are you religious? Okay. Oh, you're getting personal now. Yeah. A little bit too personal. I mean, I did say I was going to go these places. Yeah, you were. Yeah. Um, I'm not religious per se, but I'm more sp- open, spiritualistic now. Okay. Do you believe in God? Uh, I don't know. That, that That's my thing. It's like I, I feel like it's not my purpose to question it. If there is or there well, what, isn't. What is... What does God mean to you when you hear that? As, you know, 
we all at some point had some form of religious background, whether it be Abrahamic or whatever. Um, it's just what you're told as a kid, I guess, you know, there's this being or multiple beings in the sky that's just watching your every move. And so you're thinking of something as similar to human. Yeah. Or, or at least sentient. And yeah, in sentient. And sense. yeah, that is just, you know, and there. That's what you were taught. when you were Yeah. Younger. Yeah. Do you still agree with that now? Or do you have a different conception of it? Like I said, man, I don't know. I, I, for me, it's like, honestly, the way I look at it, if there is, there is. If there isn't, there isn't. So you're more focused on what's here right now in yeah. front of you. Yeah. You're more secular. Yeah. Okay. So using them big words. Yeah. Always, man. <laughs> don't you know I have a college degree? <laughs> I don't. Uh, this is this is what it's used for, man. Yeah. Using big words. That's that's what my that's what my English major is. <laughs> I'm a big glorified walking dictionary. That's my purpose, kid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Teach you big words. Teach me big words. So, what's your opinion on the supernatural? On the supernatural, in? like, give me an example, like, because there's. So you want <laughs> my opinion of the supernatural no 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 no. what 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 do you consider supernatural when you believe in it well the thing about if you look at the word supernatural okay super and natural yeah so it's just natural but super yeah okay so there could be some supernatural shit going on i okay I'll, i'll get a little more specific yeah like I need examples. How about how about ghosts? Spirits? Ghosts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there could be ghosts. Like I said, well, I, I, don't... I felt like you were gonna say I've seen some shit. So <laughs> I, I mean, I've seen some shit too, personally. <laughs> but like I said, ignorance is bliss. There's shit that I just try not to acknowledge. <laughs> so are you gonna be like that one green tech story of the Chad dousing himself <laughs> in holy water and punching the air? If <laughs> that's how you deal with ghosts, if it gets, if it has to come to that point, like I don't know if there's actual violent ghosts or, you know, what if there was a violent ghost? If there was, if, okay, like Ooh. hey man, how, how would up? you deal with that? Uh, I, I, douse myself in holy water <laughs> and punch the shit <laughs> out of it punch the air i guess i don't know <laughs> this. What, what if what if there was a lusty ghost and the ghost no. kept touching you at night no no i mean that's that's the that's thing it's like <laughs> ignorance is bliss i will <laughs> not acknowledge it, it i will just like nope this didn't happen <laughs> i will put myself in a delusion not, yeah this ghost just did not touch my booty <laughs> yeah this is what i'm saying it's just like <laughs> my my booty just twitched. That was a really handsy twitch. Cause my thing is like I'll acknowledge things when there's the, when there's the time and place for it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I will not acknowledge a ghost <laughs> mid like. <laughs> I'm taking a shit like, oh, there's a ghost there. <laughs> like, uh, nope, <laughs> I got to focus on the task at hand. It's funny you bring up the toilet. Where have most of your religious experiences been? <laughs> Where do all, gr- like, you know, big ideas come from, man, you know? I don't know. For the me, bathroom, it's the shower. It's not or the taking shower a shit. or taking a shit or whatever. Uh, what is it about that? I don't know. Is it because you're relaxed and you're not <laughs> thinking about that? You're just having a sweet release? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the shower or on the toilet. Okay. Uh, well, like I said, on, on that topic, like, you know, I didn't want to get lewd or anything, but like, okay, if I'm like making love to someone, I'm not going to acknowledge a ghost. <laughs> you, even if it's recording you? What if the camera's just floating there? <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, I'm going. just not, I don't see it. I don't see it. This is going right to the hub. I don't see it. I'm just going to close my eyes. That's it. <laughs> okay, well, what if what if your, no, your partner is no, like, I'm not in this situation. camera floating there. I can't really give you concrete answers because I'm not, I haven't been in that situation. <laughs> but if I was, I would just nope. <laughs> okay, well, not necessarily ghosts. What about magic? Magic? 
not not fireballs and lightning bolts flying from your fingertips, but mm-hmm. you know uh, the kind of magic I've talked to you about. Yeah, I mean, I I totally believe in it. Um, but would you consider that supernatural or perhaps maybe a science we haven't figured out? Well, that's the thing, though, right? It's uh. <laughs> Back in the day, it's like, okay, science was supposedly supposedly considered as magic. Yeah, It's that's just people true. didn't know about it. So it's just something that we don't really have enough knowledge about. Mm-hmm. But it's there. Okay. So I, I believe in it. I mean, <laughs> there's a whole, like, you know, we go in depth. We always talk about our synchronicities. I always, like, message you on WhatsApp, like, hey, man. Well, I'm glad you brought up synchronicities because I was going to bring that up. <laughs> like, for example, like, not too long ago. Uh, I told you about my Chipotle incident. Yeah. Explain, Freaked explain me out. for the audience. <laughs> so this one night, driving home from work, I'm like, man, I just got done working out. I'm craving Chipotle. But then I was like, okay, you know, my mom, mom's probably has some food at the house or whatnot. Uh-huh. So I was like, no, nah, I'm just going to eat the food at the house. And I get home. My mom has Chipotle for me, ready, mm-hmm. exactly the way I want it. So it's like, okay, you know, it's just that, like, you literally have subconsciously willed yourself. You manifested it, yeah, as yeah. some people would say. Yeah, you manifested it through sheer will. <laughs> mm-hmm. Could you also say that's a case for psychic activity? Yeah, I mean, psychic connection? Possibly, yeah. Maybe you somehow... Telepathed, would that and that is that even a word? Telepathed yeah. to your mom. But then the thing is that like, you know that Chipotle was there for a while, so so possibly even before you had the idea. Exactly. Uh, well, I mean, moms just know best, right? Yeah, pretty much, man. <laughs> I mean, th- there could be something to it. They say that mothers have their children's DNA in their brain. Mind you, not not you know a piece of it. The entire. DNA strand in their brain. I don't know exactly how it works, but uh, like you know, a, a child's DNA is different than both the parents. But the mother, for some reason, has the exact DNA mm-hmm. of, of her child, of all her children, in her brain. Well, that's so. great to know that because it's like if this is the case, then I know that she's my actual mom. <laughs> oh yeah, you can just <laughs> pick her brain, take your DNA no, out, no, like dig through, um, right? No, just like no, like <laughs> hey. All right, for example, there's like a joke, right? Uh, it was a joke, cruel joke on me. Okay, well, let's throughout, hear it. Throughout as a, like, uh, as a kid. Where I know where like, you're going, but the audience doesn't. Yeah, so. that, they, they don't know. Because like, I used to look different from my brother and my sister. How so? As in, like I used to look more Asian, I guess, than my brother and my sister. Uh, I, c- I could see you being like, Filipino. Well, yeah. So they would be like, "Oh, you know, we found you in the dumpster. You ain't, you ain't really our brother." <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> did you believe them? At some times, like, cause, like, I would look at them, like, "Yeah, I don't look like you guys." <laughs> my mom would be like, "No, you have more of my genetics." So I was like, "Okay," but I still sort of don't look like you guys. <laughs> Are you really my parents? <laughs> So it's kind of the little cement, like yeah, that that's my real mom. So, yeah, so you can verify that. <laughs> yeah, she knew exactly what I wanted from Chipotle. That's my real mom. <laughs> All right, so tell us about your morals and your values. How so? Well, how do you determine right from wrong or good from bad? See, this is something that I have trouble with. I think most people do, yeah. but that's why we talk about it. Because it's, it's such a sliding scale, right? Um, I always try, <laughs> and it's it's a double-edged sword, where it's like, okay, I won't care for myself, mm-hmm. but I'll, you know, go above and beyond for another person. Mm-hmm. Be, uh, before my needs, mm-hmm. I, well, I think I think there's a lot of people that out there that that do have that problem. Yeah, was well, like the savior complex, right? Mm-hmm. In a sense, and I'll try to just 
like I said, throughout throughout the day, like I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I don't want to step on anybody's toes or anything. I just want to be able to live my life. Mm-hmm. But sometimes you got to crack a few eggs. <laughs> to make an omelet, as they say. Added to, to make an omelet. So it's... It's better to just be honest. Mm -hmm. Even though it might hurt someone, it might be beneficial to them at some point in time. In the long run. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like the concept of ripping the Band-Aid off. Yeah. Just get it done. Yeah. And okay. you've, you've kind of seen me do that a bunch of times, too. Mm -hmm. I think everyone's had to do it at some point. Yeah. So At the end of the day, you can only worry about yourself, really. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I, I'll... I'll think about something heavily, mm -hmm. weigh the pros and cons. Like, okay, do I need to be direct with this person? Do I need to, like, okay, you know, how how do I approach a certain subject or without getting their feelings hurt? But then again, it's like they need to be kind of aware of something. Mm -hmm. So that that's pretty much, I guess, my morals and values in regarding to human beings i guess <laughs> well it's always a tough question yeah uh, yeah and essentially what you're saying is that you don't you don't believe in a objective mm -hmm. good and bad or right and wrong. no no because i mean like everybody has their own different set of beliefs and it's just kind of like okay it's, it's a constant adaptation yeah yeah balance between maintaining your own health and needs yeah. and also coexisting with others yeah so your golden rule, I think you might have mentioned this, but let's let's restate that front and center. What is your golden rule? Just do right by the world, man. Okay. But <laughs> well, that's now the we thing. come back to the question, what is right? Well, that's the thing. Is my right not going to be your right? But there is like a golden thing, like a golden rule. I at least I believe is like, okay, man, don't fuck people over. Don't fuck the world <laughs> over. <laughs> In a but sense, again, yeah. that, that yeah. comes down to yeah. what you consider getting fucked over because sometimes yeah. people see things differently. Like you might do good by one person and at the same time do bad by another. Yeah. So it's... That's a complicated thing. It's right? it's a very complicated thing and it's just... I don't know, man. It's you just do what you can. Yeah. Just do your part. All right. Everything has its purpose, I guess, even the bad at times. Would you say that sometimes the bad is actually good? It's fucked up as it is said. Like I said, everything has its purpose, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I believe so. Yeah. We're going to switch gears now. Sort of. I mean, it's all related, but. Yeah. What is life? To you, of course. This is your own words. Life. I don't know. I wonder how well people can hear the squeaking of this chair. A lot. I'm pretty sure they can. It's got to be annoying. We'll have to that's find a, a that's what happens when you time. drink a bunch of caffeine before you do your show. Uh, well, I was coming I needed. I needed it. Oh, I've, I've had a lot of caffeine today. I've been tired. <laughs> like I said, it's been a long weekend. Yeah. Anyways. On the topic of life, life is everywhere for me. But what is it to you? It's something you can't, honestly, it's not just, you know, being conscious. It's, to me, I see life in the inanimate objects. Is so... So, for instance, this grandfather clock, you see life in it. Yeah. Explain. As in, to me, the clock is, has, uh, someone made it. You so know? they, they put their life into, into it. it. Okay. Well, you, but you don't see it as sentient. You may not be conscious, but like you, you see the, the intent and, you know, the work and all that put into it. And that is to me in a sense is life like you know do you think the inanimate has personality yeah like you may see like okay the way maybe the person varnished the wood or you know 
like mm-hmm. saying in art, the uh, the way a certain stroke was painted on, you know, you see mm-hmm. the personality in that. Okay. Uh, to an extent. But do you think it's an extension of the creator's personality, or does it have a personality all its own? Uh, I think fifty fifty. Fifty fifty. Mm-hmm. Okay. As in, sometimes, you know, the creator has intent and they know exactly what they want. And sometimes they just, they lose themselves. Like, the creator will lose themselves and they have no idea what the hell they made, but they, they need to make something. So... And then, in in sense, it's like they gave life to something. So, in other words, it's not just the one-way street. The yeah. art creates itself yeah. or creates on the yeah. creator as much as the creator yeah. creates it. Yeah. Okay. What do you consider your life mission? <laughs> or do you even have one? No, I don't. So you just wander? Yeah. Isn't that sort of a mission in and of itself? Well, you can say that You've all the time. You can say that about it. You can say about every question you have there, <laughs> Zia. Like, you can do knobs. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do, but no, I'm not going to get it into like with you like that. This is not work. <laughs> Talking about this is not work. <laughs> you can have a life mission. It, it can no. change from time to time, but yeah, like, or you can have an overall one. Yeah. See, I would have accepted be good to others, like you said earlier before, as your life. Well, mission. yeah, that. But then it's like, okay, there are times where you can't, you purpose like you can't be good to others. Or you is is that being good? Maybe sometimes so, someone needs a this slap. This is what I'm saying. See, sometimes he's, people need a slap. K. He is trying to be the devil's advocate in this, where it's like he's very failing at it. No, I'm not failing at it. I'm, <laughs> I'm picking your brain to expand upon what you're saying. This whole point is to get to know people. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, get to know the guest on the show. Because in getting to know them, you get to know yourself. Yeah, you can be like. Man, fuck this K guy. I don't, I don't, I don't like what he's saying. <laughs> he sounds like an idiot. I probably do most of the time. You said it. <laughs> I like I don't think highly of myself. So <laughs> I think everyone should should have a healthy opinion of themselves. Yeah. It's not too high and not too low. Yeah, I that's, just don't. That's about me. So. Okay. Do you ever ponder the great mystery? And that is existence, existence, reality itself, God, or however you want to phrase it. I used to when I was younger, and I did every now and then. It would like you know you get caught in that rabbit hole of just question after question after question. How can we solve whatever crisis we have on this earth? Then it's like you just go into it, or whatever. You know, how can we get every living human being to band together and garner that world peace and shit? But then it's like, no, it's never going to happen. Like, for me, like, you know, I realized I was like, this is never going to happen. But everything has its purpose. So it's like, just don't question it. Just exist. Okay. So it's just a question that you find is unanswerable. Yeah. Which I guess is why they call it the great mystery, huh? Yeah. So when it comes to existence and existing, mm-hmm. do you believe it's all predetermined or do you believe it's free will or, or something else? Do you think it's it's all here because of, of grand design or is it just pure hazard that hazard meaning random chance? That brought us here. That's a good question. Um, it's a good question that I don't really question. That's my thing. <laughs> you just I, don't want to think about it. I all. don't. Like I said, I don't acknowledge this. It's a paradox. <laughs> you can't yeah, answer. Exactly. I don't acknowledge it. It's like, is it my business to acknowledge it? No. I'm here already, so might as well just focus on what I'm, where I'm at. <laughs> so never, never. You don't. Well, you s- you do say that it's all for a reason, so yeah, that, that mean, implies determinism sort of factors into your way of thinking, or do you do you just use that framework? I just when use things that are outside of your control. Yeah, uh, because then you you still do take action when you have to, don't you? <laughs> exactly, which that's implies the thing. free will. So, so I guess I would say it's fifty fifty, right? Yeah, 
that's that's a good way to look at it. It's kind of like the me, whole yin and yang. You yeah, know, it's fifty fifty. There's, there's one inside the other. Yeah, so it's like you know, certain things are meant to happen. Certain things just happen mm-hmm. randomly, and it's <laughs> we're here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're here. Uh-huh. And we're conscious. Yeah. What is consciousness to you? Well, that's a, uh, for me, the consciousness, I guess, is like your will to exist, right? So you think if you run out of the will to exist, you give up consciousness? You give up uh, everything. You give up your very being. And for me, like, I find it, I guess, and... In a in a sense, it's also meant to be given up. I guess you there are times where you just don't exist, and I feel like consciousness is uh very well. We have a video about this. We do a little more in depth. I yeah, mean, it was our thoughts at the time. Yeah, the things that occurred yeah. to us in that moment. For example, like you know, we talk about okay. The table being having a uh, consciousness, this chair that we're sitting have a consciousness. They have a will to be a chair. Mm-hmm. I like. I like to think as maybe you know when things break or become new or you know wither down. It's like you know that consciousness is fading. Okay. So then, would you say that when you, my computer you, breaks down, <laughs> its consciousness is fading? Okay. <laughs> what about you? As a person, because you you wouldn't say three year old you mm-hmm. is the same same you that is here now. Well, that's the thing. Is like uh, of course not. But how often do you do you remember? Do you remember your whole year as a three year old? No. Do you, do you remember, or even as like a two year old? But what even thoughts corroborate that that exists? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> It's just like, okay, so... Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it was like, you know, the movie was like Baby Geniuses or whatever. I haven't seen it. It was like a one kid's movie where it's like, you know, when, like, there's like certain year where they just become like normal, but like during like their toddler years, mm-hmm. whatever, like they're, they're super, like babies are super genius. They know the secrets of the fucking universe. That could be true. In, the, in a sense, yeah. Maybe they forget it as they get locked down here exactly. and start learning language. Exactly. So it's like, you know, like if you look at, uh, say, animals and uh, and like, you know, little kids, they don't have like the straight up pressure of like society on them or you know their 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 brains are very malleable or you know their consciousness so their beliefs are very malleable Mm -hmm. but their curiosity is like on a different level Mm -hmm. but do you think you can maintain that curiosity throughout your life yeah if you practice enough yeah okay so it's almost like a muscle in that sense you know, I, I believe if you practice enough that you'll have, you can maintain that curiosity. You'll maintain that, you know, sense of wonder of wanting to know what the thing is. But like my other belief is that you can never go into any extreme, whether it's on this side or this side. So why is that? For me, I just believe like it's just not going to be good for you. Okay. Like it's just going to be detrimental. What role do you think? Damn, man, there's plays? a page two. Oh yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> I did tell you to be prepared. <laughs> there's a page two. Yeah, you're not getting out of this that easy. <laughs> All right. So, what role do you think consciousness plays? Uh, I don't know. I. I wouldn't know. I'd like, like I said, I think we're all connected, whether it's 
atoms, electrons, whatever, we are all going to go into this one river of conscious, supreme consciousness or whatever, and just become one. Chet Lee's one. <laughs> okay, so in other words, you got to go to all the different universes and kill yeah. yourself off. Uh, no, not like I think that, I think that but... happened last night, remember? like We, we, we were disagreeing about uh, a past event, and I, and I insist that it happened one way, and you, nope. you say it happened another. It didn't happen the way you said one it. Of yeah. us, one of us died in another universe and no. switched to this one. No. Are, are you sure about that? Could be. Could be. I don't acknowledge it. <laughs> Is consciousness good or bad? It's both. Both? Okay. Explain a, a good scenario and a bad scenario. All right. All right. Hitler was conscious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He had consciousness. <laughs> he was a cognitive human being who did a fucked up shit. Yes. Was he? How do you know he wasn't possessed by a demon? Uh, no. Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess that would be some other form of consciousness. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, regardless. So it's it is good or it's both, but you need both. Okay. Well, you can't have one without the other, right? Right. Well, because consciousness has so many definitions mm-hmm. in regards to uh let's say consciousness meaning who you you are. You know, mm-hmm. like that, that thing that, that goes, uh, that's some total of your being. Yeah. Do you think that's fixed or malleable? Do you think it's even unique? I think it's unique. So you think everyone is, is, is you know, a unique form of consciousness? Yep. Okay. And And the first part of the question, do you think it's fixed or malleable? Malleable. Okay. Because so ideas change. People's beliefs change. Okay. And sometimes they align with another person's beliefs. But then you believe everyone is a unique essence. Yeah. Yeah. Because in some way or form, it's like, you know, even though they we may, they may be, you know, have like the same sort of belief, still for them, it's still different. Okay. Do you believe that essence precedes existence or is it the other way around? Explain that to me. I didn't go to college, man. No, no, no. it's simple. Okay, mm-hmm. so so we were talking about an essence of a person. Okay, meaning like I guess you could say it's a unique flavor to mm-hmm. each person. Yeah. Do you like, think that precedes their existence that comes before, or do you think they have to exist first and then they get that unique flavor after? Do they all start off as mud and then get sculpted oh, into something? Oh, no. They ex- you have to exist to get that unique flavor. Okay. So then, in other words, no one is unique until they start living their life is what you believe. Yeah. Okay. So then, it, to, in a sense, you believe it's both, that people are unique and they're not. Yeah. Uh. Well, no. Um. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Broke you. <laughs> Glitch the Matrix, guys. No, uh, well, that's the thing, right? Like I, uh, I said earlier, uh, to me, consciousness is the will to exist. Okay. It's that's to it's to be. It's just it's something like that, that's for me. Like I, it's unexplainable. It's just like I know I know I have to be here. I have to do this, uh-huh. this half ass segment. I want to say. <laughs> well, it's a little half-assed right now. It'll get better as we go. I'm going to get the format now. I'm still a little too formulaic looking at the paper too much. Yeah, yeah, but... Yeah, so... Like, there are things that you should question. There are things that you... Certain people... Like I said, certain people question other things. Okay. So they're they're more suited for... For that field. Say a scientist is more suited for space exploration or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna question that. <laughs> I would like to know about it, but like, that's not in my, it's not in my flavor. All right. So there, there are certain uniqueness when you exist, but as goes on, it is a still a malleable thing. So it's, I guess in a sense, it's fifty fifty. So again, you're 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 picking the middle route again. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, man, middle neutral. Well, I mean, uh, 
I know this, but they don't know. Uh-huh. <laughs> we talk what? about this too much. <laughs> yeah, because, like, look, look, I bet, like, you know, you did certain things as a baby that were unique to you in comparison to things that I've done as a baby that are unique to me. Yeah. Of course. And yeah. Everyone does. Mm-hmm. And that came very early on before you've really been molded by anything. Yeah. I mean, the way I see it is that anytime you say one statement, its opposite is immediately true. Mm-hmm. Because All either you'll, are you'll, true. you'll find a case for it or because yeah. the existence of one, yeah. you know, just just by uh, necessity includes yeah. the opposite. Like it has to also exist. You can't have black without white. Yeah. And that's why I always come back to yin and yang. So... Uh, I guess that also answers my next question, which would have been, you know, are you free to be anything you want or are you just free to be what you already are? I mean, if there's anything you want to add to that, because we kind of covered that just now. Yeah. That yeah. I don't think I need to add to it. I mean, you think it's probably a little bit of both. Yeah. 50 50. Yeah. That's a cop out answer, Kay. I, I, <laughs> that's what I love. I love to do that. I love to cop out. You like to be lazy. <laughs> Hold on, let me get well, my. Well, in this case, I let actually me, agree with you. But. Let me get my badge. Cop out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cop, and it's out. <laughs> and I'm out. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that at work. <laughs> Officer K, out. cop out. <laughs> uh, hey, we should call that. Uh, this this that'll be the name of this episode. Who are you? Cop out. <laughs> I'm a cop out. <laughs> Okay, we're, well, here's where you can't cop out. Okay. What scares you the most? Oh, well, I, <laughs> we already know. You, you already been, know. If you kept up with the episodes. Well, I mean, everyone knows if they kept up with yeah. the episodes. I mean, we're about to upload it to Podbean finally during this week. <laughs> I'll try to get it done tonight, but I'm exhausted and I still have to edit this. Yeah. But yeah, uh, fuck sharks, man. Fuck sharks. <laughs> Dude, that's scared of sharks. That's of all oh, the things you, in the world. I that's told, what scares you the most. You already know. We I know. Did a but video. We're about still gonna this. go through this Why? because this is a new there's, video. There's no changing Every, my thoughts no, about this. I thought though. you said everything's malleable. It's Are you still afraid 50. of sharks? I said it's fifty fifty. Okay, so so like there's a fifty percent chance that you're not afraid of sharks anymore, or less less in afraid of them. Some other reality. I'm probably like a shark diver or shark advocate in this this reality i'm i don't fuck with sharks man what if i don't it was a acknowledge tiny shark? their existence what if it was a tiny shark what if it was shark fin soup because then you get to eat the shark and make no, it poo no i like i said look i'll do so with integrity like i won't fuck with the ocean so the ocean will not fuck with me. <laughs> you just have an agreement with it. Like, look, man, That's I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put my dirty ass in you, and you're not gonna get your exactly. fish pee on me, or your your teeth on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. I don't go to the beach. Do you know why you fear sharks, dude? Just watch the video. <laughs> you don't need to ask me why. I mean, some people think sharks are cool. I, That's great. I'm just I, like I don't know. Did you have a run in with a shark? Did you see something that as a kid? Some that people you? can handle spicy food. Some people can't handle spicy food, man. <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> I don't like sharks. Have you ever had spicy that was too spicy for you? Yeah, my mom. <laughs> my mom makes spicy food like. You have to understand, like, I've seen my mom and my aunt eat habanero peppers out of like a jar, like it was nothing. Yeah, I don't know. I'd be dead. I, I had a little sriracha. They're on my just having like earlier. a my casual is... conversation, and just like just eating habanero peppers, and I'm just like, "What's wrong with you people?" <laughs> <laughs> I can I can handle spicy food, but, but not not, like not to their level. No. Okay. But back on topic. Yeah. Uh, what about death? Do you fear that? See, I I always say this. I used to not, but then as my ideas change. It's not, I don't fear death itself. I fear the way I'm going to die. Okay. What if you were to die on the toilet? Is that the kind of death you would fear? 
Possibly. <laughs> yes. Maybe. <laughs> it, it, I guess it depends. Like, Depends if it was a good shit or not. <laughs> well, you know, one of those poops are <laughs> just like fucking A. I can die happy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So why don't you fear death, really? And and why do you fear the way in which you die? Because uh, you don't want it to be painful. You know, you want to be... I mean, like, I, in a sense, I still do uh, not, like, thinking more, a little bit more, but I still do fear death in the sense where it's like, okay, you know, even though for me, like, I think, like, it doesn't really matter where you're at in life, you can go at any time, but you still don't want to have, you have that semblance of, like, oh, I don't want to leave an unfinished life, mm-hmm. and that's different for everyone. Okay. So... Or, you know, I don't want to leave my loved ones in a bad spot. I don't, Mm -hmm. I you know, I can't bear to do that. But do you think that would still be an issue when you die? Because it's... That's the thing. It's like, you know, know, if I was to go, for me personally, I... I, Okay, it's my time. There's no stopping it. I can't really do much about it but it's gonna suck but you know it's gonna suck for like you know in the back of my head obviously it's gonna be like shit man want to see whether you want to see your kids grow up or you want to see you know your brother or your sister or whatnot you know where they're at in life you know you want to be be still be able to be there for them but is that options kind of taken out of your hand? Do you believe in life after death? <sighs> Good question. Uh, I like to believe there's something. Yeah, I don't know what. What kind of ideas do you have about what it might be? I, I once again, I don't acknowledge it. You just don't even want to think. About I don't want to think about too it. many possibilities. Yep. You never know, man. I probably we probably could have died. Multiple times. <laughs> Maybe it's just the same thing on loop. Yeah. You never know. So it's just one of those things that's just like, nope, don't get caught in that thought loop. <laughs> Go down the rabbit hole. Yep. Yeah, I do that too much. Yeah. You See, I don't. You just. You I try not to, no. Just distract your, you just distract yourself from it. Exactly. Mm. Ignorance is cop bliss, out. man. Cop, cop, out, cop out. man. That's what I do. <laughs> Death. <laughs> Cop out. Well, I don't think you're alone. Pull out the badge. Cop out. uh, Someone watching this is gonna be like, "Fuck!" Now you got me thinking about this shit. Thanks, Zia. Thanks. I mean, that's what happened to you recently at work, right? You watched that one video about facial structure (laughs) bullshit, and I'm just like, "What are you doing?" That was a little different. (laughs) That that wasn't about existence. That existence is a much heavier thing. But it got got in your head, though. Yeah. But when you start talking about existence, something like facial structure kind of just like. The the whole existence problem trumps that. It's it's like, exactly. Well, now I'm going down that rabbit hole. Yeah. I mean, I've gotten to the point where I know how to turn it off because it's like, yeah. you know, it's just infinite possibility. Yeah. You know, you don't know anything. Yeah. And to say that you do is just you're lying mm-hmm. to yourself and other people. But uh, since we're, since we're bringing up that facial structure thing, let me get this. Let, let me let me get everyone with this. Yeah. So apparently, like, there's something about facial structure where your tongue is supposed to have a certain placement in your mouth. That's and this and bullshit. that. And then I started like thinking over and over again, like, where do I put my tongue in my mouth when I'm not like y- talking or eating? And then I was so conscious of it that it was bugging the shit out of me. I'm like, like, <laughs> trying to find the right spot. I'm, I'm like, gonna tell bah. you that he tried to tell bah. me this stuff at work, and you're like, he's trying to get me, get me to get in my head about it. No, no, I wasn't like... trying to get in your head. I was trying to tell you to like. Bring me back down to earth, like because I was like, Zia, shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I was hoping you were gonna say. Like, I, was, I was just I was looking at him, like, conscious about it. Did the Jake John Hall, like, nah, nah, knock that shit off? Well, yeah, like, I want to smack you. It helped, didn't it? And I, was like, I okay. guess, yeah. <laughs> well, that's why I went to you. I needed that. I needed the cop out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm seriously gonna get a badge made. <laughs> cop out, <laughs> cop out. <laughs> Just do, you know, get like a little enamel pin made. Yeah, cop out. No, something in my wallet, like something I can just flip. 
cough out. <laughs> oh, I used to have a uh, like a little card like that. That was uh, it was it was actually like a, a police thing. It was a joke police badge. And it was yeah. like a stupid police. Yeah. So anytime someone was being stupid, I just flipped that out in school. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> cough out. I was an honor student, so I could get away with it. <laughs> Anyway, uh, back on topic. Mm-hmm. So, uh, we there's gotta, no page three, right? No. Okay. You want there to be a page? Three? No, I'll, I'm I'll, tired. I'll, I'll, I'll pause I'm the tired recording too. and write another one. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Why? Did you think of some new shit? No. <laughs> I just wrote down some general questions that would keep the, right. the conversation going, so I keep switching topics without thinking <laughs> like, um, um, okay. Uh, I got a question for you. How am I as your first guest? Pretty good. Yeah. It's it's weird because I already know most of the answers you're gonna say. Really? Did you <laughs> kinda no, I kn- I knew you were gonna be like, yeah. oh, 50 50 on everything. I'm just like, yeah, I, I get that. We've talked about that before. We both kinda yeah. have that that sort of Taoist mentality where it's like Just be Zen, man. Neutral. Yeah, and the whole thing about Neutral. extremes. Like, you know, you go too yeah. far to one extreme and you look like the opposite. Yeah. But that's not the same for everyone. Where is their neutral zone? Where is yeah. your neutral zone? That's You're, true. So, anyway, again, next mm-hmm. question. What are your thoughts on thoughts? <laughs> what are they, and where do they come from? Be gone. <laughs> oh, oh, we're talking about we're talking about T H O T S thoughts. <laughs> uh, both of no. them. Be gone. <laughs> thoughts. Oh, okay, if you don't have thoughts. You know, Thoughts, the ones in your head, be gone. Like I said, like you can't what have are my no thoughts? You gotta have some. It's just yeah. a matter of dispelling them when you need to. Yeah, like I said, you're gonna have good thoughts, you're gonna have bad thoughts, and depending on how the individual is, they can it can affect them either way. Do you think your thoughts are your own? S- mm, somewhat, not like fifty fifty, man. 50-50. Someone can implant thoughts like little seeds and like you'll think of it and then oh. you're like, okay, you'll think of it as thought of your own. But then it's like, no, you have some sort of outside influence. Do you believe a thought could maybe just be something from outside and you choose to hold on to it? <sighs> or do you just believe it's something the, the person and their brain creates? Well, it's... Like I said, I I say it's 50-50, where it's like, okay, you know, you could have an original thought, right? Um, Like this past weekend, we saw Van, was it the Van Gogh movie? Mm-hmm. In that movie, no one was thinking like Van Gogh. Van Gogh was this, yada, yada, you know, he had his own way of doing shit, and it was kind of original to him, and yet no one could see his vision. It was his thoughts. Okay. But... It still also, in a sense, had outside influence because the stuff that he was painting. Yeah, he was saying he saw things like angels and whatnot. Angels and whatnot. But some of the stuff that he was painting was from something that already existed, uh-huh. as in, like, naturally. Okay. So that's, like, the outside influence influencing his sort of unique thoughts. All right. So... Now that we're talking about an artist, this is a perfect time to segue into art. Okay. What is art to you? It's subjective as fuck. That's what it is to me. Okay. <laughs> there uh, you go. That's my answer. Do you con- do you consider it important? Yeah. Why? Everything has its place, man. Okay. But what about its place in your life? It's important to me. I mean, I Do you think it was formative? In the, in the sense that it helped you become who you are today? Art. Was it that? Well, that's the thing, right? Like, what do you consider art? Art's everywhere. Okay. It takes, it takes special time and skill to come up with those questions. It's a form of art. Okay. It takes time to play a video game, I guess. It's a form of art. So it's like, it's everywhere. Okay, so, so again, coming mm, back to you. Yeah. What is your art? I, I don't know. What what are, what's the kind of art you gravitate towards? I mean, I love movies. I love I love like the visual medium. Uh huh. So that that's uh, uh that's one form of art that I love, 
I mean, for you, I know it's books mm-hmm. and writing and the just the words. Okay. Um, and I I see the art in that. It's just I don't gravitate to it as well. It's okay. not my my thing. But I mean, I like quotes. I like shortened stuff. So. As emotions a is a form of art, I guess. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Art's everywhere, man. It's subjective <laughs> as fuck. That's, that's, that's my that's, thing. Uh, that's that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> but we're talking about art and you. So so in me. Let's let's go back to you as a kid. Okay. Did you ever emulate any characters maybe that you saw in, in these movies that you enjoyed so much? Uh or not even just movies, just did you ever try to emulate art? Yeah. I mean, I cosplay and stuff. Even though most of the times I cosplay characters, I... <laughs> no, oh, yeah, I know. I don't really we'll, we'll know. We'll leave those secret. I mean, there are characters that I have cosplayed that I've... You know, that I I do know. Uh, How about in life, though? In life? Yeah. Uh, I was thinking like your day to day. Is there is there anything that is there any way that art has it influenced your day to day? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like for example, one thing that we really played uh, recently, well, we played recently, and that we really love is what Red Dead, right? Sure, sure, sure. sure we played it. Yeah. So that that story had an impact on us. Yeah, and it affected our day day to day. Sure. So, yeah, I totally believe it has an effect on your day-to-day. So it gave you a plan. Yeah, and, and you know, we try to emulate things that we that we like, and but what we like is always going to be unique. Yeah, we, there might be, like, a cluster group of, yeah, they might like it, like a big group of liking something, but they might have a, a unique reason of why they like it. Mm-hmm. So basically you're saying that uh, everyone sees it in a different way. Yeah. Okay. Um, The role of imagination, do you think it's important? Yeah. Just in art or in everything? In everything. Explain. Uh, One of the things that I always try to say is, you know, Nothing is impossible. It's just that we haven't imagined a way of making it possible. Okay. Were you imaginative as a kid? Yeah, I used to daydream a lot. That was one of my big school complaints. <laughs> I shit you not. Like I every think, every I parent think everyone's teacher, done that at some every point. Every parent teacher conference is just like, damn, your son just daydreams. Like, he doesn't do shit in school. We didn't have phones at the time. We didn't have <laughs> smartphones. We just had to daydream. <laughs> so it was like one did, of those. Did you ever get lost in your daydream to the point where yeah. you just couldn't see anything in front of you? And then it's just like teachers calling on you. You're like, oh, oh shit. yeah. Yeah. This is, why do you think I, they used to tell my mom all the time? Like, <laughs> like damn. Dude, I hated that. This, this, <laughs> this, this like, kid. They knew exactly when to call on you, too. Because here's the thing, too, right? It was like, uh, I was a late speaker. Like, I didn't, like, according to my mom, uh, like, I didn't speak until, like, I was, like, a older age, I guess, like, four or five or something. I guess, I don't know. They said I just like, always was, like, really quiet uh-huh. when I was a kid. So, I was just like, man, I was just caught up in my thoughts, man, just imagining shit. Caught up in the thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, I, you needed, I needed that. that I, I needed that thought. We're gone. <laughs> Damn, Kay even has a kid? What's wrong with you? <laughs> what are you trying oh, to say? God, <laughs> fucking pervert. <laughs> no, but yeah. Uh, so what about now? Are you still imaginative? I try to be. Like, uh... Do you find it gets harder as you get older? I, I do believe so, because you have so much, um... In the words of Ruben Landing, you know, like, uh, reference. Everything's a reference of a reference of a reference. Okay. Right. So, as you get older, you get 
overloaded with so much reference material where it's like it's sometimes gets harder to to be imaginative Mm -hmm. so how do you how do you maintain your imagination what 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 revitalizes it for you Uh, a lot of things i guess you know getting you 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 start seeing, you know, you start playing like different games or something or listening to different music and, you know, it kind of starts inspiring you to be more imaginative in whatever field you want to be imaginative, I guess. Like okay. if you want to, like, like I said, for example, like imagination is very important. I say it's very important. It's because, look, um, how the fuck did we develop an airplane? Oh, of course, you you imagined it first, or yeah. someone imagined it first. Yeah, the Wright brothers or whatever, right? Flight was thought to be impossible. Like, ah, oh, you're fucking crazy. You ain't gonna get shit up in there. But we saw birds doing it. First. That's what I'm saying. So it's like as time goes on. So it, it's once again cop out fifty fifty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! First guest, Officer K on the episode. Yeah. K- KD6-3.7. Well, get out of here. <laughs> no, you you can't use that because you just keep copping out on all these things. <laughs> they don't cop out with, well, with Blade the Runner. Thing. I got to be baseline. That's, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> Repeat after me. Cells. Cells <laughs> interlinked. <laughs> interlinked. Within, within cells within interlinked. cells interlinked. Have you ever loved? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're nowhere near baseline. So, uh, okay, we'll move on now. Mm-hmm. What do you think about power? As in? What is it? True power, I mean, not not necessarily. Well, well that's the thing, right? What's true? What's true for you is not going to be true for me. Which is why I'm asking you, what do you think true power is? Uh, Again, remember, this is all through, through the reference of you. That's, yeah. that's why it's called, who are you? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> Who? Such, such lust for power. Such lust for copping out. <laughs> no. Uh, once again. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, I don't know what power is for me. I don't want power. I don't want. Well, Perhaps you're thinking of, of power as money okay, or fame so or something. But what gives you power in I your guess life? For me, power is being in control of who you are. Okay. Standing is unshaken it, against the crash of the world. Unshaken. <laughs> That's not a more British than country. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> But, yeah, you know, it's having, being able to express yourself is powerful. Um, Just, you know, existing is powerful. Being able to do the things you love is powerful. Being able to be around, you know, that's that's what I think. is So freedom. Yeah. Okay. That outlaw life. So you don't you don't see power as money necessarily. No, no. You don't see power as in having control over others. No. You don't have the the typical widespread idea of of powers and like. No, no. Because like I said, uh, it's funny because like I'll I'll go into talk about wrestling a little bit, right? I forgot. I was like listening to these interviews of these wrestlers and think. Uh, oh, I thought you were gonna say you did wrestle at one point. No, no. Uh, we all we were always wrestling with our demons every day, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> now you try to be edge lord. You want to bring out? Look, I got the cop out badge yeah. and the sword. <laughs> you gonna you gonna dress up as Sonic too? Yeah. Run faster than the speed of light. Yeah. Zero is in darkness. Does that mean shadows? <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog. You, oh, so you're not going to pull out a, a, a sword. You're going to pull out a gun. Yeah. Well, that's what I get with my cop-out badge. <laughs> <laughs> and some roller Standard skates. Issue. I'm going to bring you some roller skates Standard tomorrow. issue, you know. Uh, no. Um, 
I forgot what we were, what we were talking about. Power. Okay, so wrestling. You said wrestling. You yeah. To wrestling. So when it comes to like, okay, your body, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Scott Hall, his mentor or whatever. Uh, he's like, don't be one of those guys who who flaunts their body because guess what? As you get older, your body's gonna fade. Flaunts is is that the right word? Flaunt like they flaunt it. As in, be like, do? yeah, like don't make your body like you, the center of attention when you're in the wrestling ring. Don't make it like okay, you're known for your oh, body, so like your showing physique. off their physicality. Yeah, because guess what? As you get older, that's no, gonna fade. That's gonna fade. So in other words, the abs are gonna turn to flabs. Yeah. I'm afraid of that, Kay. That's my true fear. Is, is That's why it? I'm paranoid about how I eat. <laughs> <laughs> but then you're going to miss out on some of the other things in no, life, I'm, you I'm know? Joking yeah, but then, like, I, mean, I work yeah. hard to keep my abs. Yeah. I kept them, but they're not like they used to be. <laughs> not because of, of uh, not because of age, but because I'm yeah. just like, you know, don't go crazy over it. Yeah. When I was younger, I did. but. Mm-hmm. Oh, I did too for a while. I mean, well, you saw when you first met me and, Holiday month. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That, like, that was an extreme. Though you went to an extreme, yeah. didn't you? Well, How not much really. did you weigh during that time? I weighed around like one thirty something. And how tall are you? Um, five ten. That's that's a bit of an extreme. Yeah. Well, similarly, I was uh, I was like one ten, one fifteen at one point, mm-hmm. and I'm five three, and I'm I'm a pretty short, stocky guy. So like, yeah, weight. I've always been higher in weight and lower in height, even though like you know. Uh, yeah like solid but you know that was that was an extreme for me i was really yeah. skinny yeah. so what's next man i was ready to move on now you're done with power yeah okay i think I, I covered it what are your your influences and inspirations like why do you think you are who you are today i am who i am it's cause, because there's always going to be something for me to reference to, whether it's my friend, where it's whether it's my family, whether it's a uh, um, a movie I watch, a song I listen to at the moment, there's always gonna be some sort of reference where I, I can go to, or whether it's a picture I see, mm-hmm. you know, or a book I read. So, so you see everything as informing you about who you are. Yeah, but. Would you say that there's something in specific that had a huge impact on you, whether growing up or later in life even? Is there something that puts you on the path, good or bad, today to like where you are? No. I you mean, don't think so? Because that's, for me, I think it's going to be a moment-to-moment thing that you can't really determine Obviously, well, like you, you can't uh, determine uh, in the moment, but look, yeah, uh, back, look, looking back, I, I, I can identify a lot of things. So, uh, tell us some of those things. I mean, you know, uh, my, my father passing away is one of a moment. Uh, Batman's like a big inspiration, <laughs> that knows you know, good. And all that stuff, like you know, knowing. Knowing a little bit about my family history and what just what I've been through in life is just up until now, it's just pretty much, mm-hmm. you know, is going to be a defining factor of where you are at the moment. Mm-hmm. So that's what I see. Like, yeah, you're going to be, you know, as you're in the moment, uh, like, there are going to be certain things that you remember, obviously, you know, like your first breakup could mm-hmm. be lead you to maybe making a song or whatever. And that could be like a number one top billboard song or some shit. So I like to think of it as like, you know, everything that uh, in your past, whether it's five seconds from now or 50 years from below is the culmination of where you are at right now okay that is your reference or that is your inspiration for you being in that in the current present okay officer cop out see (laughs) (laughs) 
But but now I'm gonna, now, <laughs> now I'm gonna attack you. You're gonna have to arrest okay. me for assaulting an officer. Because <laughs> uh, you mentioned Batman it was mm-hmm. a big inspiration for you. But yeah. you shit talk Batman all the time. So now we're gonna fight <laughs> because I love Batman. I don't shit talk. I just yes you do. Don't you lie? As, don't like lie. I said, it's 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 as a kid you ignored nor the flaws, right? Of course. Well, I think you, as an adult would pretty much. Well, yeah, that Any too. Any of the superhero stuff, you ignore the flaws just because. Yeah, because it's, it's just a sen- sense of disbelief. It's a man or woman dressing up in a costume. And uh, or it's a suspension of disbelief, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah suspension of disbelief. See, um, but I don't mean to like shit talk him. It's like, okay, as a kid, you're just like, okay, cool. Holy fuck. He's got a dope ass costume, dope ass car, cool ass gadgets. But then as an adult, or as you comprehend and learn more about him as a character, you're like, holy shit, this guy is pretty flawed and fucked up in the head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that, that's sort of the appeal. Yeah. He's uh, taking everything that's wrong with him and, and using it to do better. Yeah. Or try to do better. Try probably. to do better, but, like, yeah. not going to lie, he does fuck up. Oh, of course. Well, then, don't, well and then that's don't the thing. people all the time? Well, yeah, that's the thing, too, right? It's like, okay, so... That's the whole thing of who you are and whatever is everyone's going to have this unique taste of someone's Batman's not going to be your Batman. Yeah. And then it also comes down to, you yeah. know, Batman's right is not necessarily your right. Yeah. Because he, he doesn't kill even if yeah. it's villains yeah. like Joker who yeah. deserve to um, die. <laughs> cop out. <laughs> <laughs> who has the biggest cop out badge? Batman. <laughs> cop yeah, out. Well, you, can't you can kill. kill all the Robins you want, Joker. But Use I, your cop out badge. <laughs> I need you to be my <laughs> other half. <laughs> well, anyway, I think that that covers just about everything I can think to cover. Since you're just gonna cop out anyway, K. Yeah. Unless you want to add something that's this not is a this out. is this is the title of this video, right? Cop out. Cop or out. this episode. Cop out with a K. Cop out with K. Yeah. It's the cop. If out. you guys need anything to cop out from just let me know and i'll help you cop out i'll find a way find a way (laughs) he knows i know zia knows how many things have i copped out (laughs) dude you know how many things are running through my mind (laughs) (laughs) sometimes at work i can use that that cop out mentality but (laughs) now i'm a fighter right down to the end i'll fight people not not like fight fight i mean like i'll debate them (laughs) Even if it's a waste of energy, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll just cop out. <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> okay. Well, well, we we know that this episode, I mean, that we know that this segment could get deeper. Yeah. So, uh, I guess we'll see with the, the future guests. I guess you got to just be, for with me, is just, you just need to be more specific. Yeah. Well, that's why this has been a trial yeah. run. Yeah. So uh, hopefully... Those who watch this will give some feedback, mm-hmm. give me some direction, because this is a very uh, broad thing. Yeah, I tried to tackle big issues that you know people <laughs> deal but, with, but I wanted to get more into cop exactly. out. You're the cop out, so that's actually cop that's out. actually a good test because I have to fight a little more to yeah. get more out of you. Where you don't you don't need to fight at all. You just need to be specific. Like I'm open, I'm open, but like if you just give me vague, okay. vague questions. I'm I'm just gonna cop out. Okay. Well, that's easier said than done because how do you how do you create a format that's well that's the thing it's specific for I I could have done one specifically towards you but then yeah. it's like how do I have a format that works for everyone? Yeah. So it's tough. Yeah. He still looks like you still gotta work on this, man. Of course. <laughs> that's why I so. said this is a trial run. Yeah. So. Uh, expect to be combing through this video with me for ways I could be more specific with people. <laughs> and please, if you're watching this and you enjoy it, uh, feedback is appreciated. How do I get more sp- specific with people? What kind of questions can I ask? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, ask ask Kay your specific questions, <laughs> and we'll see if he doesn't find a way to cop out. I'll, I'll ask them a specific question. How many times did I say cop out? Or how many times was the cop out? How many times did you pull out the imaginary badge? Or, no, just how many times was the word cop out used in this video? 
That's a lot of work, especially to find out at the end and then have to go back to well, the video. See, you can do a giveaway. If you I want. was going to say that, but I don't want to put that torture on anyone. <laughs> I think I'd be like, she said cop out again. Oh, look at, oh my God, dude, do I count them saying cop out at cop this point out. in the video? Cop out. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. You're going to have to sit there with a clicker, man. Yeah. So I'm, not, I'm not putting that on someone. I'm not going to put that evil on them, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> no trigger. I see you with your ace combat shit. Don't don't be pulling that shit. All right. Anyway, uh, this has been the new segment of uh, Who Are You with Geek Tank. I'm the host, Zia, and this has been my guest, Kay. 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 <laughs> Agent Cop Out with a K. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Please. Uh, follow your complaints with the precinct. File your complaints in the comments, you know, the <laughs> AKA the feedback. <laughs> uh, I would greatly appreciate that because I do want this to be uh, a, a good segment for getting people to understand one another better. And eventually I want to open it up to, you know, more people than just my co-host. <laughs> <laughs> and, and close Thanks, friends man. that I already well I already know all about you and people no, that watch don't. the show know a decent about about know a decent amount about you no they so, don't you know just... a decent amount they know what you're like your personality it's about getting to know everyone so uh, anyway I'm rambling now yeah uh, this has been the show and uh, hope to see you next time deuces <laughs>